morning everybody, it's sunrise, spring is definitely on its way. The sunrises are getting earlier, which my wife is particularly happy about. Will you be back in time for the girls' breakfast? Yes, yes I will. Five o'clock alarm set this morning and I've come to a place called New Haven. The port, which you would have seen at the beginning of the video, is just over there. The car park is just over there, five minute walk. And today I'm photographing something that is so unsuspecting, you would just walk past it. And that's because this only reveals itself at the right tide. At high tide, you can't see it at all. Um, the secret to this location is coming at mid tide. And today, mid tide clashes with sunrise, so that's perfect. And I've got very, very lovely, calm conditions. This year in particular, I'm making an effort to get to my locations at least half an hour before the sun rises because when you're doing something like long exposure seascapes, you don't actually need direct sunlight. You've got the sea reflecting the brightness of the sky. And I'm not sure if it's gonna come across on camera or not, but some of the really rich, vibrant colors happen in the sky just before the sun comes up or before the, uh, after the sun has gone down. So it means less sleep for me, but I think it's important, get to your location. I've been here before, about five years ago. I've got some photographs of this, but as always, I'd like to think I'm better at photography now than I was five years ago. Another thing I'm doing today, if you didn't already notice, this entire video is shot in widescreen, and you might have seen some of those crazy flares across the video. I've not added that in editing software afterwards. I'm testing out an anamorphic filter for the DJI Pocket. I'm not gonna make this entire video about it, but I am shooting this entire video in widescreen. Do you like it? Is it over the top? Is it cool? This is not exactly a sci-fi location, but it does add a little bit of production value to your videos. Anyway, at the moment, the sun has yet to come up and I think I've got about 10 or 15 minutes before the sun does actually show itself. I'm just getting in some long exposures of this. Let me show you what the scene looks like. It looks like some sort of sea defense. I can't see it being some sort of derelict boat because it's been here for five years. It's made of metal and it seems to be stuck in the ground. So a pre-sunrise long exposure, four minutes. Yes, yeah, so here is the shot. Once the sun comes up, probably gonna get some nice shots of this. But very simple, but very lovely scene. Uh, I'm gonna get some photographs that aren't long exposure because the colors and the waves here look beautiful. So after I finish that four minute exposure, I'll probably come over here, get some reflections of the color in the sky. At the moment I'm just exploring different compositions. I've got some symmetrical, so they're bang in the middle and the, the outside's kind of leading you into the post at the end. And I mean, there's not really much scope for different compositions. You could do landscape, you could do portrait. Initially I'm gonna shoot into the sun to see how that looks. Uh, maybe I could try an F16 shot with a sun star. I'm doing long exposures, short exposures, and then I'm just shooting it from both sides. Just, if you do come to this location, just explore different compositions. At the moment, I've got a six stop, free well magnetic filter on the front, which is getting me a 13 second exposure at F8. Yep, that's all in the histogram. Well done, Sony. If you were to come here in the winter, you might get the sun poking up over here or sunset, the sun's gonna be setting over there. I remember editing the photographs that I took five years ago, and the one thing that I was oh, absolutely ruining myself for was the fact that some of these metal columns were overlapping one another. So I'd say in terms of composition, 
when you find you can see that oh, that one is overlapping that one so I say just keep on moving around until you get a composition where these posts are not overlapping yeah that's what I'm paying close attention to when I'm lining up my shot here At the moment I'm shooting into the sun with filters. Bad idea. Sun is just poking up over some clouds and I'm getting, woo! That's looking rather juicy, if I may say so. Oh, what a beautiful morning. When I was coming here, there were some quite heavy clouds on the horizon, but they've completely cleared. And now I'm just left with very calm conditions. I've probably got about 10 or 15 minutes left and then that's it, sun is gonna be too high in the sky for anything. Okay, I've decided against shooting into the sun now because it's 45 minutes after sunrise and it's a bit too, bit too contrasty. But I think I've just taken my favorite photograph of the morning actually. So what I've done is I've got my camera tripod down here nice and low. So I've extended out the legs. That low angle where some of them are cutting through the horizon works really well. I think that might be my favorite shot of the morning actually. But yeah, I'm going to continue to uh, mix up the compositions. I think it's almost time to head that way and see what else is in New Haven. They're very dark as my camera is struggling to bring out any sort of detail in them. You can see these, these have got loads of texture in them, but to a camera, they can come out very dark. Perfect timing. So the sun's coming out now, so you actually start to see a bit of definition in them. Uh, when you've got direct sunlight, it helps with this contrast situation because otherwise these, these can become almost silhouettes. I think we're done here. Maybe I'll be back in five years time once the world is back together. Okay, so I'm just making my way along the beach. It's a, some sort of nature reserve here, according to the signs. Uh, the composition that was just photographed and was just over there. And at the top of these hills, if I spin the camera around, New Haven Fort. New Haven Fort is at the top of there. Now, most people will drive to this location, so you just need to look up Fort Road, New Haven, and you just follow the road to the end, nice and easy. And if you get here at the right tide, that composition will reveal itself. These metal posts here are exactly the same as the ones in the sea that I was just photographing. And that's why I don't think it's some sort of boat that's just been left to rust in the sea. I think it's some sort of sea defense or reinforcement for something. They are, they're all the way along here. So I think what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna come back here another time at sunrise, uh, at high tide. This will all be nice smooth water, probably uh, a longer lens. That'll be your interest, the lighthouse at the end, you've got the sweeping arm. This location is also heavily photographed when there are storms. I believe that there's a camera up there that you can access from the internet. So if you're curious to see what the storms are looking like, shall I grab my camera and go out? Uh, you can just go on the internet and look up webcam New Haven Harbour. And then I believe that that camera up there is available to the general public. Uh, so as you can see, there's clearly no access. There is definitely no access to the arm itself. Maybe that's the camera I was talking about up there. But you can clearly see we're not going any further on this arm. Now I've got a question for you. Um, I'd like you to put an answer in the comments. Do you think I should continue to share my locations? I, I'm talking about just generally where I am or right down to the what three words location and 
I, I think I think it's a positive thing because I'm trying to help out other people, other photographers that just need a bit of inspiration. They're thinking, I'm bored of where I live. I need to go to explore new locations. And sometimes you have to travel too far. And if you're not there at the right time, etc., then you've wasted a journey. You've got up too early. But the downside to sharing your locations is, I don't have a, a huge following, but if you do, let's just say every single one of my subscribers were to come to this location, the location could start to get a bit overwhelmed or um, people could start to ruin the locations. So I think this more applies to bigger YouTubers, but the principle, let's just say I do become famous on YouTube one day. Should I share my locations to my videos? What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Genuine question. I'm intrigued what you guys think. Okay, that was a bit of a random video. Hopefully you like this sci-fi edition of Ben Harvey Photography YouTube video. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I'll see you in the next video.